Saskatchewan too, man. My pee tastes great. <laughs> no, I just moved to Vancouver. It's, it's unbelievable living here. Like Saskatchewan, no, they're they are friendly people. You guys, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> but what it is, it's the weather. Like Saskatchewan, you go from plus forty to minus fifty in one year. It's unbelievable. Like if you're going to the corner store, you gotta make friends with your neighbors because you gotta stop before you can make it to the end of the block. And, and then I got to thinking, you know, maybe Vancouver, you guys just don't know how to wait. Because like when I left Moose Jaw. The, the, there was a kid, and he was saying goodbye to me. He didn't give me one of these. He shot this out at me. I was like, that's the best way in the world. There's no mistake who I'm waving at. I mean, look at that, right? Welcome to my palm. That's what it is. And it works both ways. You're saying hello, you start open, you bring it in. You're saying goodbye, you start close, you bring it out. And I would like you guys to embrace this with me. You know, start to use it. But there are some guidelines when you're using it. It's one hand and it's above the shoulder. I live on Davy Street now. This is a whole new bag of worms. <laughs> one hand, though. This is appropriate, okay? But if you're up for a challenge, give them one of these and see which one they block. Either way, you're having a good time. Right? <laughs> That kid just got me thinking, though. Like, I miss my childhood. I grew up in a military family, so I've lived all across Canada, all across Europe. And I remember my mom and I were reminiscing the other day about when I was playing with my G.I. Joes. Anybody here who played G.I. Joes? Yeah, okay, good. So this won't be lost on you. Because I, I never played with them. Like, I wasn't Duke saving the world. I was against them. Like, I was the bad guy that captured Duke in, like, the tulip patch, you know, back behind their house, like, holding them down, being like, stop, Duke. <laughs> there are the answer. She has jobs. Every evil guy is German, right? <laughs> we have ways of making this a talk to you. Just see, you can tell me, Bessie, I just run along and famous Bobby, I don't care. But you see that there? Yeah, you see that there. That there's called the kinda. And what I'd done was slip my dad's belt sander over and I clicked it on. You don't tell me, Bessie, oh. I lower you down slowly, starting with the feet. The shins, the knees, the pelvis, I don't know why you have it, it's just for show, yeah. <laughs> the torso, the upper body, nothing but a head left. Now what are you going to do? Who are you going to recommend this at? Huh? Look at yourself. It made it hard to play with other kids. <laughs> like, whenever I went and visited, like, family, I always got stuck playing with Kimberly. Don't get me wrong, she's a great gal, but my brother and... Chris, her older brother, always fucked up and played with himself, so I got stuck with her. And she's like, I want to play my little ponies. So I'm like, I brought all my GI shows over. Can't we play with them? Well, fine. You know what? Fine. We'll play with my little ponies. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Butter. Tell me where they are, in you go, and I flushed them down the toilet, right? But the son of a bitch got stuck. 
I started to panic. I thought the best way to deal with it is send out a whole bunch of like paper towel and toilet paper after them. You know, lodge it, clean it out. Oh, it backlogged something fierce when my mom opened up the door and seen like the Nile coming out of our bathroom. She sees us, gets down on her hands and knees, like elbow deep in this shit, and pulls out this soggy G.I. Joe covered in shit tickets, you name it. She looks at it, looks back at me, and God bless her. Tell him that she also G.I. Joe song! Thank you very much, guys. My name is Dan Willow. Good stuff. Good night.